Pentagon has issued a, a very serious warning, saying it's alarmed by what it hears from President Erdogan about new, Syria, uh, new Turkish military operations in northern Syria. And there is grave concern in the mm. Pentagon about what Turkey is about to do. Turkey has always stated very honestly and clearly from the start, this should not come as a surprise to you or anybody else, uh, that we will not allow a terror corridor on our 900 kilometer border with Syria, ever. So you think the Americans are at the very least turning a blind eye to you to the presence of what you would term terrorists on your No, border. no, we don't tell them as terrorists. You know, the PKK is recognized as a terrorist organization uh, by the United States and the European Union. Yeah, we're Union. actually talking about the YPG in the this YPG case, is which is part affiliate, of, are part uh, is of exactly a Syrian same, democratic no, force which no, the Americans are working no. with to combat we've, we've always, IS we and have, jihadists no, in that area. We've always said to the Americans, if you want to combat Daesh, work with us, don't arm a terrorist organization, which is what they've done. And then they promised us that, oh, it's just for the Raqqa operation, we will take the weapons back and we will give full account of them. They haven't done that yet. Yet. And you they, say you're not they, isolated from the West, despite the message you're We are not isolated from because we're working with the Americans right now in Mem Beach. We're doing joint patrols together. Does that sound like we're isolated? I'm just telling you, the Pentagon in the last to, 24 well, hours has given a warning to Turkey saying it is gravely concerned. Because we are concerned. very determined that this is not going to happen. We're not going to have a terror corridor on our border. Now, the Americans can cooperate with us on that if they wish to. And if they don't? Well, I think they will eventually. Prison today. How from, many journalists are in there prison are, today? There are no journalists in prison today. No journalists. Because so all of these not. organizations, the World no. Press Freedom Index, which no, right now let, let has No, let me just Turkey finish. You don't ranked. let me finish my answer. Well, that was there, your when answer. I, when I said there are no journalists, there are no people convicted of journalism for what they've written or what they've done as journalists. They are convicted under ah, other so you're crimes. telling me there are dozens and dozens mm. of journalists in prison, but all of them They're are in prison for reasons entirely unconnected to their professional lives. Yes. And you yes. expect me and the international community to believe that? Well, that's up to you to believe it, but that's the fact. Former university, before I was appointed there, I believe that some uh, academics were arrested because they were detained or lost their jobs, I don't know, either one of the three, um, because they signed this petition that glorified terrorism. Now, we have to ask ourselves why this is happening. Now, you never ask why. Have you ever been to a coup trial? I tell you have what you appears to, to be the message from the Turkish government. Have you, have you government. been to a coup trial? It appears to be that so many of these have people, you actually seen hundreds the relatives, and thousands of have them... Have you seen the relatives of people crying in court for justice. Do you know how long they've been waiting? So your, your message to me is that all of these people, whether it be the hundreds of journalists we discussed or the thousands of academics, do you know how many people died in the hand of the PKK? Is, these are all do you know how many people died in the hand of the PKK? Do you think it's all right to glorify terrorism? Are you telling me that is, all of these people it, are you, terrorists? I just, I'm you, interested to know if that's either, your perspective. They're, they're supporting one so, organization or another. So let's talk. Otherwise, they would not be in trouble.